Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about uterine artery Doppler ultrasound. These are spectral Doppler waveforms of the uterine artery. The image on the left shows spectral Doppler waveform of the uterine artery in a non-gravid uterus. It consists of a high resistance waveform with a sharp systolic peak, an early diastolic notch is usually seen. This is normal in a non gravid uterus. This groove right here is the notch, and over here is a uterine artery in a gravid uterus of first trimester. The waveform is almost similar, but it has slightly lower resistance compared to this image. The peaks are slightly broader. This waveform also contains a notch, an early diastolic notch. This is also considered normal in a first trimester pregnancy. In normal cases, this notch usually disappears by 13 weeks. These are normal spectral Doppler waveforms of the uterine artery in second and third trimesters. During second trimester, the uterine artery peak systolic velocity is usually between 50 to 100 centimeters per second, and the end diastolic velocity is usually between 10 to 25 centimeters per second. Keep in mind that these values are just approximate ranges. There may be some variations in some cases. The resistive index is usually between 0.58 to 0.72. The pulsatility index is between 0.8 to 1.2 and the SD ratio is normally less than 3. In third trimester, we will find a low resistance waveform. The range of PSV and EDV is similar to second trimester. The normal resistive index range is between 0 0.4 and 0 0.6. In this example, it is 0 0.47, so that is normal. And the pulsatility index can be between 0 0.6 and 0 0.8. In this example, it is 0 0.6. The ST ratio is usually less than 2.5. In this example, it is 1.88. So that is normal. This is an abnormal uterine artery spectral Doppler waveform in second trimester. There is persistence of a diastolic notch into second trimester. We can see this groove right here. This may indicate an abnormality, but the resistive index pulsatility index and SD ratio are more reliable parameters which may lead to an abnormality. In this example, the PSV is 94 centimeters per second. The EDV is 15 centimeters per second. But the resistive index is 0.84. This is abnormal as it is more than 0.72. The pulsatility index is 2.1, which is also raised. The SD ratio is 6.26. It is also elevated. So these three values are abnormal. Here is another example of an abnormal uterine artery spectral Doppler waveform. 
we see a diastolic notch right here. The resistive index is slightly raised. It is 0 0.75. The positivity index is also raised. It is 1.75. And the SD ratio is also increased. It is 4.1. This is another example of an abnormal uterine artery spectral Doppler during second trimester. We find the early diastolic notch here. The resistive index is increased. The SD ratio is 10.12, which is very high. So this is abnormal. These type of abnormal values may indicate preeclampsia or intrauterine growth restriction. The image on the left shows a normal spectral Doppler waveform of the uterine artery during third trimester. And this image shows an abnormal uterine artery spectral Doppler waveform. A diastolic notch is present. The resistive index is 0 0.87, which is higher than normal. The pulsatility index is 2.45 which is also abnormal and the SD ratio is high it is 7.7 .7. now we will look at uterine artery Doppler waveforms in a postmenopausal uterus the values are slightly different in normal cases the resistive index should be more than or equal to 0 0.8. The pulsatility index should be more than 1.5 or equal to 1.5. And the SD ratio should be more than 5. And this case shows an abnormal uterine artery spectral Doppler waveform in a postmenopausal patient. The resistive index is 0 0.61, so that is abnormal because it is less than 0 0.8. The pulsatility index is less than 1.5, so that is abnormal. And the ST ratio is also less than normal, it is 2.8, so these values are abnormal. Here is another case showing abnormal uterine artery spectral Doppler values. The resistive index, pulsatility index, and SD ratio are all abnormal. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.